Today I'm covering everything you need to know about Dodge's 2023 Hellcats. Spoiler! There are not many facts and lots of expectations, cancellations, rumors, and insights from Mopar. So sit back and let's look at E85, 426 Hemi, and SRT Tomahawk. It all began in 2015 when the first Hellcat was introduced. It caused a huge buzz in the muscle car community and excited people. Dodge initially threw a 6.2 liter supercharged Hemi V8 engine under the hood with 707 horsepower and 650 pound feet of torque in both the Charger and Challenger. Why 2023 is important? Sounds cool already, but why is the 2023 Dodge SRT Hellcat important? Well, this will likely be the last factory-produced Hellcat to be created and sold to the public from Dodge. Dodge CEO Tim Kuniskis hinted at electrification and the days of the 6.2-liter engine being numbered for several years. But in late 2021, he confirmed what none of us wanted to hear. There are only two more years to buy a Hellcat and its history. Dodge also confirmed that the current Hellcat powertrain would be built through 2023. At the same time, the new Dodge cars will be electrified in 2024, moving on from the gas-guzzling powerhouses. And that new e-muscle car, as they call it, will have a concept unveiled later this summer. Since the 2023 Hellcat is the last model year, Dodge wants to go out with a bang, with one last special edition variant as a swan song before it's gone. Also, rumors say that Hellcat already has a few production units that will be undergoing testing this summer. E85 SRT is secretly working on an E85 fuel-capable Hellcat. This is a rumor, but it seems to be picking up a lot of steam. It certainly is a possibility and multiple sources have mentioned it. We don't know yet if this will be implemented like the Demon with a separate engine control unit and a button or if it's going to be an actual flex fuel tune that automatically tunes for the fuel you put in the vehicle. Helipant Another rumor is the 426 Hemi Crate engine. The 2018 SEMA show has unveiled Helipant, a monster 7-liter supercharged Gen 3 Hemi engine with 1,000 horsepower and 950 pound-feet of torque when running on 93-octane pump gas. Since that release, many have wondered when and if the Elephant would find its way into a production vehicle. Could it be for this 2023 last edition Hellcat? Unfortunately, this engine wouldn't meet any federal regulations for production use in a road car. It also wouldn't meet emission standards in states that use the California Air Resources Board Emissions Standards which have been adopted now by 15 different states. All sources say it's doubtful that this 426 Hemi will come to production. Some say the 2023 Hellcat will still have the standard 6.2-liter Hemi, obviously the high output for the special edition and possibly with the E85 fuel capability. While that isn't the 426 Hemi, it could feature a vital piece of the Hellephant, specifically the supercharger. This is one of the most significant differences between the Hellcat and Red Eye versions. Both engines use an IHI twin-screw supercharger, but the critical difference is that the displacement varies between the two. The SRT Hellcat gets a 2.4-liter supercharger that makes 11.6 pounds of boost, while the Red Eye Demon and Superstock jump up to a 2.7-liter charger with 14.5 pounds of boost. This extra volume was added by increasing the length of both internal rotors by 28 millimeters compared to the 2.4-liter supercharger. Now, as for the Helipant Hemi Crate engine, it moves up to a 3-liter supercharger which of course allows a lot more power. For example, the 2.7-liter blower helped the Red Eye to make 80 to 90 more horsepower than the Hellcat. There's a reason to believe another increase to 3 liters would allow for another substantial gain in horsepower. They will also probably use the 3.17-inch pulley from the Hellephant, and that's already found in the Hellcat Red Eye Stage 2 kit. Tomahawk Another thing Hellcat fans talk about is a filling for trademark protection by Stellantis in the United States on June 23rd for automotive applications. And that, of course, was the word Tomahawk. This wouldn't be the first time Dodge played with the phrase Tomahawk, as they created the Tomahawk concept in 2003. It was a crazy, outrageous, powerful motorcycle with a Viper 8.3-liter V10 engine. There was also a futuristic virtual trio of concept cars known as the SRT Tomahawk Vision, with a Viper V10 hybrid thousand of horsepower, and those were featured in the Gran Turismo PlayStation video games. The big question here is, how much horsepower will this 2023 SRT vehicle make? There's no concrete evidence, but the consensus believes it will be over 900. The combination of the pre-stage Stage 1 and Stage 2 kits for the Hellcat Red Eye already produce 885 horsepower. 
It includes a handheld tuner performance, air filter, 180-degree thermostat, 3.17 halophone pulley, and several high-performance calibration key codes. Power. How much power will the Hellcat have? The one guess is 909 horsepower. It's logical to suppose that the first Hellcat had 707 horsepower, while the Demon had 808 on pump gas. This is simply the next step up, and 900 seems like the goal Dodge has in mind. Obviously, this car with even more power will get less fuel economy than the previous Hellcats and create more emissions. Of course, the Hellcat buyers don't care about gas mileage, but the EPA has strict regulations that can result in many compliances fined. In fact, compliance is the primary reason why Dodge is choosing to end production of the Hellcats in the first place. The 2018 Demon failed emission testing in stock form in some areas of the US, so there will be similar problems with this Hellcat. Release date. As for when we should expect to see the vehicle, it will likely be during the Dodge Speed Week event from August 12th to 20th, 2022 on Woodward Avenue. Dodge CEO Tim Kuniskis talked about the upcoming event saying, there's no better place to unveil a new performance direction for the Dodge brand than right on Woodward Avenue in Detroit with tens of thousands of our closest fans and friends. We introduced our two-year Never Lift Roadmap last year at Roadkill Nights, and this year the event will serve as the prelude to going wide open, throttle on Never Lift. All I can say is the future of our brand will be on display during Dodge Speed Week, and we're throwing open our garage doors so our fans can get a peek for themselves. It's going to be an electric summer for Dodge. So if we look at that Dodge Speed Week schedule, I expect them to reveal this 2023 Hellcat on day three. Monday, August 15th. It is slated to be the current muscle car announcement. The gateway and future muscle cars should be modeled for 2024 and beyond. Some people are disappointed that this new SRT could overtake the Demon as the most powerful muscle car. A ride they thought was just for that car, but nothing says there won't be another better or more powerful car than the Demon. Though it sure looks like this will have a good amount more horsepower than the Demon, but not sure if we'll have a quicker 0 to 60 or quarter mile times. To wrap up, it certainly looks like Dodge and SRT are working on one final finish for the Hellcat before they say their farewell. It won't have the 426 Hellophant and Hemi engine under the hood, but it could likely borrow a few parts from that, like the 3 liter supercharger or the 3.17 pulley to name a few. Horsepower will be around 900 or maybe 909. And you got to give huge props to Dodge again for trying to deliver yet another legendary muscle car release before things seemingly give way to a battery-powered future. Nothing has been confirmed yet, so don't assume these are facts until the official release.